Well, Monday, people across the country will honor Dr. Martin Luther King for MLK Day. The great activist and reverend protested racial discrimination in the U.S. and advocated for freedom and justice using nonviolence. Tonight, we're getting a head start with a new book out by Dr. King's granddaughter. And she had a little help with the pictures from someone right here in Hampton Roads. 10 on your side's Keanu Patterson has a look. Yolanda Renee King calls this book a love letter that may help children learn more about her grandparents' dream. I really th was thinking about the book as a whole. Turning words. Not necessarily one page at a time. Into colorful pictures. So here I have Yolanda going from the past to the, the, the present and the future with the strength of her grandparents behind her. While standing on the shoulders of civil rights leaders, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King. It's just very, very moving and impressive and, and inspirational to see a young person standing up for what she believes in. Though they never met, 15-year-old Yolanda Renee King is carrying the light of her grandparents. It blows my mind how much sorrow and grief there is and how heavy that is a burden for our children. Nicole Tangel, an award-winning watercolor artist in Chesapeake, Virginia, was tasked with showing a world that learns from the past and evolves into a beautiful masterpiece. I fell in love with watercolor because it was almost impossible to control. She fully immersed herself into this project to remember how to live carefree like a child as she creates the images envisioned by Yolanda. We dream a world where school is a safe place, free of fear, no violence spoken here. We dream a world where guns are not games, shoot for the stars, not for each other. The artist using pictures from the 60s, listening to the music from the time and even visiting the MLK Memorial and the National Museum of African American History. There's uh, so much richness to African American history and culture, uh, especially the civil rights period. And it was really humbling to see how much I didn't know. I have a dream. Yet it's Dr. King's 1963, I have a dream speech that stands out to her most. When he talked about having his children you know, hand in hand, black children and white children being friends and being judged by not the color of their skin, but the content of their character. That really resonated deep within me, uh, especially for this book. While I was painting, I wanted the content of my character and the content of Yolanda's words to drive what I was drawing and painting. Each character is based on children in her life to show inclusion and diversity. I wanted to showcase children of different ethnicities. Yolanda is um, like unifying them all. As the next great change maker. We Dream a World is now available for purchase. We'll post that information for you over on wavy.com. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.